Alprazolam, Wikipedia article audio. Alprazolam, available under the trade name Xanax among others, is a potent, short-acting benzodiazepine anxiolytic a minor tranquilizer. It is commonly used for the treatment of anxiety disorders, especially of panic disorder, but also in the treatment of generalized anxiety disorder or social anxiety disorder. It was the twelfth most prescribed medicine in the United States in 2010. Alprazolam, like other benzodiazepines, binds to specific sites on the GABA-A receptor. It possesses anxiolytic, sedative, hypnotic, skeletal muscle relaxant, anticonvulsant, amnestic, and antidepressant properties. Alprazolam is available for oral administration as compressed tablets, orally disintegrating tablet and extended release capsules. Greatest alleviation of generalized anxiety disorder may take up to a week. It has been suggested that there is tolerance to the anxiolytic and anti-panic effects of the drug, but not all authorities agree, tolerance will, however, develop to the sedative and hypnotic effects within a couple of days. Withdrawal symptoms or rebound symptoms may occur after ceasing treatment abruptly following a few weeks or longer of steady dosing, and may necessitate a gradual dose reduction. Other risks include increased rates of suicide, possibly due to disinhibition. Medical Uses Panic Disorder Alprazolam was first released by Upjohn in 1981. The first approved use was of panic disorder, and within two years of its original marketing, Xanax became a blockbuster drug in the U.S. As of 2010, Alprazolam is the most prescribed and the most misused benzodiazepine in the U.S. The potential for misuse among those taking it for medical reasons is controversial, with some expert reviews stating that the risk is low and similar to that of other benzodiazepine drugs. Others state that there is a substantial risk of misuse and dependence in both patients and non-medical users and that the high affinity binding, high potency, short elimination half-life, and rapid onset of action may increase the misuse potential of alprazolam. Compared to the large number of prescriptions, relatively few individuals increase their dose on their own initiative or engage in drug-seeking behavior. Alprazolam is classified as a Schedule IV controlled substance by the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. Alprazolam is mostly used to treat anxiety disorders, panic disorders, and nausea due to chemotherapy. Alprazolam may also be indicated for the treatment of generalized anxiety disorder, as well as for the treatment of anxiety conditions with comorbid depression. The FDA label advises that the physician should periodically reassess the usefulness of the drug. Alprazolam is effective in the relief of moderate to severe anxiety and panic attacks. However, it is not a first-line treatment since the development of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Alprazolam is no longer recommended in Australia for the treatment of panic disorder due to concerns regarding tolerance, dependence, and abuse. Most evidence shows that the benefits of alprazolam in treating panic disorder last only 4 to 10 weeks. However, people with panic disorder have been treated on an open basis for up to 8 months without apparent loss of benefit. In the United States, alprazolam is FDA approved for the treatment of panic disorder with or without agoraphobia. Alprazolam is recommended by the World Federation of Societies of Biological Psychiatry for treatment resistant cases of panic disorder where there is no history of tolerance or dependence. Anxiety associated with depression is responsive to alprazolam. 
Clinical studies have shown that the effectiveness is limited to four months for anxiety disorders. However, the research into antidepressant properties of alprazolam is poor and has only assessed its short-term effects against depression. In one study, some long-term, high-dosage users of alprazolam developed reversible depression. In the U.S., Alprazolam is FDA approved for the management of anxiety disorders or the short-term relief of symptoms of anxiety. In the UK, Alprazolam is recommended for the short-term treatment of severe acute anxiety. Anxiety Disorders Alprazolam may be used in combination with other medications for chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Benzodiazepines cross the placenta, enter the fetus, and are also excreted in breast milk. Chronic administration of diazepam, another benzodiazepine, to nursing mothers has been reported to cause their infants to become lethargic and to lose weight. Nausea due to chemotherapy the use of alprazolam during pregnancy is associated with congenital abnormalities, and use in the last trimester may cause fetal drug dependence and withdrawal symptoms in the postnatal period as well as neonatal flaccidity and respiratory problems. However, in long-term users of benzodiazepines, Abrupt discontinuation due to concerns of teratogenesis has a high risk of causing extreme withdrawal symptoms and a severe rebound effect of the underlying mental health disorder. Spontaneous abortions may also result from abrupt withdrawal of psychotropic medications, including benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines require special precaution if used in children and in alcohol or drug-dependent individuals. Particular care should be taken in pregnant or elderly people, people with substance abuse history, and people with comorbid psychiatric disorders. The use of alprazolam should be avoided or carefully monitored by medical professionals in individuals with myasthenia gravis acute narrow-angle glaucoma, severe liver deficiencies, severe sleep apnea, pre-existing respiratory depression, marked neuromuscular respiratory, acute pulmonary insufficiency, chronic psychosis, hypersensitivity or allergy to alprazolam or other benzodiazepines, and borderline personality disorder. Like all central nervous system depressants, Alprazolam in larger than normal doses can cause significant deterioration in alertness and increased drowsiness, especially in those unaccustomed to the drug's effects. Pregnancy and Lactation Elderly individuals should be cautious in the use of alprazolam due to the possibility of increased susceptibility to side effects, especially loss of coordination and drowsiness. Contraindications Possible side effects include Adverse effects Although unusual, the following paradoxical reactions have been shown to occur. Alprazolam is primarily metabolized via CYP3A4. Combining CYP3A4 inhibitors such as cimetidine, erythromycin, norfloxidin, fluvoxamine, itraconazole, ketoconazole, nefazodone, propoxifene, and ritonavir delay the hepatic clearance of alprazolam, which may result in its accumulation and increased severity of its side effects. Paradoxical Reactions Imipramine and desipramine have been reported increase an average of 31% and 20% respectively by the concomitant administration of alprazolam tablets. Combined oral contraceptive pills reduce the clearance of alprazolam, which may lead to increased plasma levels of alprazolam and accumulation. Alcohol is one of the most common interactions. Alcohol and alprazolam taken in combination have a synergistic effect on one another, 
which can cause severe sedation, behavioral changes, and intoxication. The more alcohol and alprazolam taken, the worse the interaction. Combination of alprazolam with the herb cava can result in the development of a semi-comatose state. Plants in the Hypericum genus conversely can lower the plasma levels of alprazolam and reduce its therapeutic effect. Overdoses of alprazolam can be mild to severe depending on how much of it taken and other drugs that have been taken. Alprazolam overdoses cause excess central nervous system depression and may include one or more of the following symptoms. Alprazolam, like other benzodiazepines, binds to specific sites on the GABA-A receptor. When bound to these sites, which are referred to as benzodiazepine receptors, it modulates the effect of GABA-A receptors and, thus, of GABergic neurons. Long-term use causes adaptive changes in the benzodiazepine receptors, making them less sensitive to stimulation and thus making the drugs less potent. Food and Drug Interactions Withdrawal and rebound symptoms commonly occur and necessitate a gradual reduction in dosage to minimize withdrawal effects when discontinuing. Overdose not all withdrawal effects are evidence of true dependence or withdrawal. Recurrence of symptoms such as anxiety may simply indicate that the drug was having its expected anti-anxiety effect and that, in the absence of the drug, the symptom has returned to pre-treatment levels. If the symptoms are more severe or frequent, the person may be experiencing a rebound effect due to the removal of the drug. Either of these can occur without the person actually being drug-dependent. Anterograde amnesia and concentration problems, ataxia, slurred speech, disinhibition, drowsiness, dizziness, lightheadedness, fatigue, unsteadiness, and impaired coordination, vertigo, dry mouth, hallucinations, jaundice, skin rash, respiratory depression, constipation, suicidal ideation or suicide, urinary retention. Alprazolam and other benzodiazepines may also cause the development of physical dependence, tolerance, and benzodiazepine withdrawal symptoms during rapid dose reduction or cessation of therapy after long-term treatment. There is a higher chance of withdrawal reactions if the drug is administered in a higher dosage than recommended, or if a person stops taking the medication altogether without slowly allowing the body to adjust to a lower dosage regimen. In 1992, Romick and colleagues reported that dose escalation is not a characteristic of long-term alprazolam users and that the majority of long-term alprazolam users change their initial pattern of regular use to one of symptom control only when required. Aggression, mania, agitation, hyperactivity, and restlessness, rage, hostility, twitches and tremor. Some common symptoms of alprazolam discontinuation include malaise, weakness, insomnia, tachycardia, lightheadedness, and dizziness. Dependence and withdrawal Detection in body fluids Pharmacology Mechanism of action Those taking more than 4 mg per day have an increased potential for dependence. This medication may cause withdrawal symptoms upon abrupt withdrawal or rapid tapering, which in some cases have been known to cause seizures, as well as marked delirium similar to that produced by the anticholinergic tropan alkaloids of Datura. The discontinuation of this medication may also cause a reaction called rebound anxiety. Coma and death if alprazolam is combined with other substances fainting, hypotension, hypoventilation, impaired motor functions, dizziness, impaired balance, impaired or absent reflexes, 
muscle weakness. In a 1983 study, only 5% of patients who had abruptly stopped taking long-acting benzodiazepines after less than 8 months demonstrated withdrawal symptoms, but 43% of those who had been taking them for more than 8 months did. With alprazolam a short-acting benzodiazepine taken for 8 weeks, 65% of patients experienced significant rebound anxiety. To some degree, these older benzodiazepines are self-tapering. The benzodiazepines diazepam and oxazepam have been found to produce fewer withdrawal reactions than alprazolam, temazepam, or lorazepam. Factors that determine the risk of psychological dependence or physical dependence and the severity of the benzodiazepine withdrawal symptoms during dose reduction of alprazolam include, dosage used, length of use, frequency of dosing, personality characteristics of the individual, previous use of cross-dependent slash cross-tolerant drugs, current use of cross-dependent slash tolerant drugs, use of other short-acting, high-potency benzodiazepines, and method of discontinuation. Alprazolam may be quantified in blood or plasma to confirm a diagnosis of poisoning in hospitalized patients, provide evidence in an impaired driving arrest, or to assist in a medical legal death investigation. Blood or plasma alprazolam concentrations are usually in a range of 10-100 μg L in persons receiving the drug therapeutically, 100-300 μg L in those arrested for impaired driving, and 300-2000 μg L in victims of acute overdosage. Most commercial immunoassays for the benzodiazepine class of drugs cross-react with alprazolam, but confirmation and quantitation is usually performed using chromatographic techniques. Alprox, Alprocontin, Alzam, Alzolam, Anzolam, Opoalpraz, Helex, Calma, Mylan Alprazolam, Neravam, Novo Alprazol, New Alpraz, Pasil, Restil, Trinax, Trica, Zycolm, Xanax, Xaner, Zalam, Zopax. Alprazolam is classed as a high potency triazole benzodiazepine, a benzodiazepine with a triazole ring attached to its structure. As a benzodiazepine, Alprazolam produces a variety of therapeutic and adverse effects by binding to the benzodiazepine receptor site on the GABA-A receptor and modulating its function. GABA receptor S are the most prolific inhibitory receptor within the brain. The GABA chemical and receptor system mediates inhibitory or calming effects of alprazolam on the nervous system. The GABA-A receptor is made up of five subunits out of a possible 19, and GABA-A receptors made up of different combinations of subunits have different properties, different locations within the brain, and, importantly, different activities with regard to benzodiazepines. Alprazolam and other triazolabenzodiazepines like triazolam that have a triazole ring attached to their structure appear to have antidepressant properties, since the structure resembles that of tricyclic antidepressants, which also have rings. Alprazolam causes a marked suppression of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. The therapeutic properties of alprazolam are similar to other benzodiazepines and include anxiolytic, anticonvulsant, muscle relaxant, hypnotic and amnesic, however, it is used mainly as an anxiolytic. Administration of alprazolam, as compared to lorazepam, has been demonstrated to elicit a statistically significant increase in extracellular dopamine D1 and D2 concentrations in the striatum. Alprazolam is taken orally, and is absorbed well 80% of alprazolam binds to proteins in the serum. 
the concentration of alprazolam peaks after 1 to 2 hours. Pharmacokinetics Alprazolam is metabolized in the liver, mostly by the enzyme cytochrome P4503A4. Two major metabolites are produced, 4-hydroxyalprazolam and alpha-hydroxyalprazolam, as well as an inactive benzophenone. The low concentrations and low potencies of 4-hydroxyalprazolam and alpha-hydroxyalprazolam indicate that they have little to no contribution to the effects of alprazolam. The metabolites, as well as some unmetabolized alprazolam, are filtered out by the kidneys and are excreted in the urine. Alprazolam regular release and orally disintegrating tablets are available as 0.25 mg, 0.5 mg, 1 mg and 2 mg tablets, while extended release tablets are available as 0.5 mg, 1 mg, 2 mg and 3 mg. Alprazolam oral solutions are available as 0.5 mg 5 ml and as 1 mg 1 ml oral solutions. Inactive ingredients in alprazolam tablets and solutions include microcrystalline cellulose, corn starch, docusate sodium, povidone, sodium starch glycolate, lactose monohydrate, magnesium stearate colloidal silicon dioxide, and sodium benzoate. In addition, the 0.25 mg tablet contains DNC yellow number 10 and the 0.5 mg tablet contains FDNC yellow number 6 and DNC yellow number 10. Forms of Alprazolam Society and Culture Patent Alprazolam is covered under U.S. Patent 3,987,052, which was filed on October 29, 1969, granted on October 19, 1976, and expired in September 1993. There is a risk of misuse and dependence in both patients and non-medical users of alprazolam, Alprazolam's high affinity binding, high potency, and rapid onset increase its abuse potential. The physical dependence and withdrawal syndrome of alprazolam also add to its addictive nature. In the small subgroup of individuals who escalate their doses there is usually a history of alcohol or other substance use disorders. Despite this, most prescribed alprazolam users do not use their medication recreationally, and the long-term use of benzodiazepines does not generally correlate with the need for dose escalation. However, based on U.S. findings from the treatment episode data set, an annual compilation of patient characteristics in substance abuse treatment facilities in the United States, Admissions due to primary tranquilizer drug use increased 79% from 1992 to 2002, suggesting that misuse of benzodiazepines may be on the rise. In 2011, the New York Times reported, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention last year reported an 89% increase in emergency room visits nationwide related to non-medical benzodiazepine use between 2004 and 2008. Alprazolam is one of the most commonly prescribed and misused benzodiazepines in the United States. A large-scale nationwide U.S. government study conducted by SAMHSA found that, in the U.S., benzodiazepines are recreationally the most frequently used pharmaceuticals due to their widespread availability, accounting for 35% of all drug-related visits to hospital emergency and urgent care facilities. Men and women are equally likely to use benzodiazepines recreationally. The report found that alprazolam is the most common benzodiazepine for recreational use. 
followed by clonazepam, lorazepam, and diazepam. The number of emergency room visits due to benzodiazepines increased by 36% between 2004 and 2006. Regarding the significant increases detected, it is worthwhile to consider that the number of pharmaceuticals dispensed for legitimate therapeutic uses may be increasing over time, and DON estimates are not adjusted to take such increases into account. Nor do DON estimates take into account the increases in the population or in ED use between 2004 and 2006. At a particularly high risk for misuse and dependence are people with a history of alcoholism or drug abuse and slash or dependence and people with borderline personality disorder. Recreational Use Alprazolam, along with other benzodiazepines, is often used with other recreational drugs. These uses include aids to relieve the panic or distress of dysphoric reactions to psychedelic drugs, such as LSD, and the drug-induced agitation and insomnia in the come-down stages of stimulant use, such as amphetamine, cocaine, and MDMA allowing sleep. Alprazolam may also be used with other depressant drugs, such as ethanol, heroin, and other opioids in an attempt to enhance their psychological effects. Alprazolam may be used in conjunction with cannabis, with users citing a synergistic effect achieved after consuming the combination. The polydrug use of powerful depressant drugs poses the highest level of health concerns due to a significant increase in the likelihood of experiencing an overdose, which may cause fatal respiratory depression. A 1990 study claimed that diazepam has a higher misuse potential relative to other benzodiazepines, and that some data suggests that alprazolam and lorazepam resemble diazepam in this respect. Anecdotally injection of alprazolam has been reported, causing dangerous damage to blood vessels, closure of blood vessels and decay of muscle tissue. Alprazolam is not very soluble in water when crushed in water it does not fully dissolve. There have also been anecdotal reports of alprazolam being snorted. Due to the low weight of a dose, alprazolam, in one case, was distributed on blotter paper in a manner similar to LSD. Slang terms for alprazolam vary from place to place. Some of the more common terms are shortened versions of the trade name Xanax, such as Xanis and the phonetic equivalent of Xanis, references to their drug classes, such as benzos or downers, or remark upon their shape or color, bars, ladders, Xanbars, Zbars, footballs, planks, poles, blues, or blue footballs. Alprazolam is available in English-speaking countries under the following brand names. As of December 2013, in anticipation of the rescheduling of Alprazolam to Schedule 8 in Australia Pfizer Australia announced they would be discontinuing the Xanax brand in Australia as it is no longer commercially viable. Alprazolam has varied legal status depending on jurisdiction. Internationally, alprazolam is included under the United Nations Convention on Psychotropic Substances as Schedule 4. Popular Culture Availability Legal Status In the United States, alprazolam is a prescription drug and is assigned to Schedule 4 of the Controlled Substances Act by the Drug Enforcement Administration. Under the UK Drug Misuse Classification System, benzodiazepines are Class C drugs. Note that in the UK, alprazolam is not available on the NHS and can only be obtained on a private prescription. In Ireland, alprazolam is a Schedule IV medicine. In Sweden, 
Alprazolam is a prescription drug in List 4 under the Narcotics Drugs Act. In the Netherlands, Alprazolam is a List 2 substance of the opium law and is available for prescription. In Germany, Alprazolam can be prescribed normally in doses up to 1 mg. Higher doses are scheduled as Onlaga 3 drugs and require a special prescription form. In Australia, Alprazolam was originally a Schedule 4 medication, however, as of February 2014, it has become a Schedule 8 medication, subjecting it to more rigorous prescribing requirements.